break. Okay, so part two. So do we do number 31? You think so? All right, well, if we didn't, the answer was six. All right, so let's take a look at 32. Is everybody okay with that being 12 minus one, which was 11? Anybody have any questions with that? And 13 simplified to 25T. 34 was just 14 plus M. 35, 6N minus 11. And 36 was 933. Everybody good with that? Well, you didn't include the what? The three headsets, the three headbands. Three headbands for 99 cents. Yes. I just wanted you to do the total cost. That's what I wanted. Oh. You with me on that? All right. And it'll be clear on the exam because it'll be multiple choice. You know what I'm saying? All right, everybody's okay with 37, 38, be okay with that? Just reviewing order of operation, 39, did I give you one of these? Oh, this is chapter one. Let me pause for a second, I, I neglected to, all right. So, um, is everybody okay with 39 and 40? Forty one. Everybody okay with forty one, forty two? Does it matter what letter you use? Yes. Good. No, I said D over two or. You could have either way. Some kids like it D over two. Some kids like it one half D. Yeah, we don't use division signs anymore. All right. I mean, it's not wrong. You understand what I'm saying, right? It's not wrong. We just, when we get to algebra, we don't use that division. What was 40? Right. All right, here we go. 43. Is everybody able to find it? it's 3, 5, right? Yeah. Any questions with that? And then what? what was that? Just kind of like a pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you had to make a rectangle, right? 44. Anybody have any problem with 47? That was just kind of annoying. Now what I did was I just moved these up. 46 or 45, 46, 47. Take a look at that. Friday. All right, is everybody okay with that? 45, 46, 47. Right. Y divided by Z. Oh yeah, that's kind of where we left off yesterday when the bell rang. All right, so that, I'm glad you said that. So X is 20 plus, no, I'm sorry, X is 12. I'm sorry. X is 12 plus 20 divided by four, 12 plus five, 
17, right? Why did I do division first? Yeah, we did. 20 divided by 4 is 5, right? Everybody's good with that now? All right, so let's do 48. So 48, you have to do Y times Z first, which is 80 plus 12, which is 92. Come on, come on. Every little bit you can kind of concentrate, you might might help you. All right. Y minus X first. What's Y minus X? Help me. What's Y minus X? Eight, right? Plus, what's Y minus Z? That's 16. And there you have 24. Everybody's good on that? Now, what's Y divided by Z? Y divided by Z, guys. Five plus what's X divided by Z? Three. Five plus three today is eight. All right, now for 51. Five times X. 60 divided by what's three times y 60 60 divided by 60 yeah it's one all right everybody good with that all right let's knock out these now 52 a plus b plus c what's a plus b plus c 14 divided by 2 7 all right, double check your work now. What's A times B? 18. 18 plus what's B times C? 80 plus or 18 plus 30. Yeah, that was easy. Six times D. <laughs> Bless you. 54 minus what C times C? Bless you. 25. So 54 minus 25. Is everybody okay with that being 29? Hopefully you feel like that's really easy. All right, here we got to go 100. What's 5 times C? 100 divided by 25. 4. All right, now let's just do this. All right, so now here we put down 10. What's six times C? What's three times D? 30 minus 27. 10 times three. Yay. Easy. A plus B. All right. B minus C. Two times nine. Divided by six. There. Everybody feel like that's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Think back when you thought that was kind of challenging at the beginning of the year. Hopefully, seriously, you just zipped right through that. All right. Now I'm going to pause and then we can pass out. All right. Which integer represents 12 degrees Fahrenheit below zero? That would be A, correct? Negative 12. What is the value of 5 minus 16? Yeah, hard to believe we ever had problems with that. Absolute value of negative 7. 7. All right. Which integer represents point S on the number line? Negative two, six times negative seven, negative 42, perfect. Negative eight and negative seven, negative 15, all right? Negative 35 plus 12, negative 23, negative 18 divided by negative two, 
positive nine. Negative three times negative three, nine. All right, now a whale dives toward deeper water at a rate of six feet per second. If he continues for 20 seconds, which expression represents this situation? Now remember, he's diving what? Deeper, so he's going down. So we say 20 times negative six. Everybody happy with that? Hey, Finley, come on, you guys. I just want you paying attention. All right. Anybody have any issues? All right. Laura is 49 feet underground, touring a cavern. She climbs 18 feet. Where, what is her new location? We agree she's at negative 31. Sorry. Which point is negative four, negative three? F. All right. Ooh, quadrants. Let's review the quadrants real quick. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. All right. So quadrant two is what? C. Fourteen. Rhonda turned on her air conditioner and the temperature in her car decreased 11 degrees. A. Negative 12 divided by negative 4. 3. 1 minus negative 1. 1 minus negative 1. 2. What's the absolute value of negative 7? 7, and then 7 plus 7, of course, is 14. Yes, ma'am. Because remember, double negatives always make a what? That becomes a positive. Subtracting a negative. Two negatives next to each other makes a positive. Double negatives make a positive. Okay? Negative two is what? Greater than. Negative 97 is? Less than. Less than. Negative eight is? Less than. Less than. The stock decreases 11 days for nine days. Negative 99. All right. 22. All right. Now, to me, I wish you would look at this and say 12 and negative 12 is what? Zero, right? Negative 15. Negative divided by negative is a? Negative times a negative. So eight times eight. 64. We all agreed with that. And 25. All right. Negative 4 times 5. Negative 20. X, Y. All right. I think that's a good stop. I'm going to pause. We'll come back here in a few minutes. Keep right on going. Yes. Some questions if all right, so 26, what's 12 times Z? Nothing. 12 times Z is 96, right? And then we divide it by negative three, which is negative 32, all right? Lucy hikes five kilometers up a mountain, which would be plus five, and then descends two, which means going down. So it's plus five minus two. All right. So from E to B, let's calculate from E to B. So it looks like five to me. All right. An airplane descends at a rate of 25 feet per minute. What is the airplane's change in altitude? Now, most people might say 250, but in order to get it correct, you'd have to say it's what? 
negative 250. All right, make sure you say negative 250. And a scuba dive was at a depth of negative nine feet and dove another seven feet. What is his current depth? Yes, negative 16 feet. All right. Now, absolute value of negative 28 is 28. And then 28 minus 28, of course, is zero. Now, here's, remember, somebody was asking me about the double negatives. Again, the double negatives make a what? Positive. So 51 plus 19, 70. 18 minus 2 is 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. All right, and here's where we just had a question, which was a good one. Absolute value of 6 is 6, but there is a negative still out in front, so it's negative 6. Plus, absolute value of negative 14 is 14 minus 20. Negative 6 plus 14 is 8. 8 minus 20 is negative 12. Everybody happy with that? All right, let's spend a couple more minutes. All right, now we're just doing the multiplication. Six times negative three is negative 18. Negative 18 times negative one is positive 18. 25 times negative four, negative 100. Inside the parentheses, this is negative nine. So negative 81 divided by negative nine is nine. All right, negative divided by negative is a positive. Three goes into seven twice with one left over three goes into 16 five times with one left over three goes into 15 five so my answer is 255 everybody good with that all right 39 u times v negative 36 minus what's the absolute value of negative four, four. so my answer was negative 40. You got to be careful because that minus sign out in front keeps it negative. All right, here we go. All right, guys, good job for today. Try to get everything done for Monday. Study, please. Study, study. Have a great weekend, guys.